Every once in a while, developers have to learn something really quick so they can finish up a task. We're going to tell the story about when that happened with me and how Amazon Q developer saved the day. Let's go. It all started with me buying a book at Amazon about microservices with Spring Boot. I needed to learn this to be ready for a new task I was assigned to. The task was fairly simple. Implement a new persistence layer for an entity of the system called Orders. All I needed to do was create a new entity class, add JPA annotations, and implement the repository pattern using the Spring Boot support for it. The tests had shown everything was working as expected. To make sure I was on the right track, I used Amazon Q Developer to validate my code. Everything was implemented based on known coding best practices. I filed a PR with my code and waited for the development team to review the test. <laughs> However, my PR got rejected. The reviewers shared that my code was technically correct, but it was not following some of the company's implementation guidelines. Details like inheriting from the right base class, usage of the correct login framework was missing. They recommended studying the Spring Pet Clinic sample application, which is where the company's implementation guidelines come from. That's when I had the idea of using the Amazon Q Developer customization feature. Let me show you how I did it. Hi there, my name is Ricardo Ferreira and I'm a developer advocate here with AWS. I'm super excited to show you the Amazon Q Developer customization feature. So what this feature is about, it allows you to use a specific code base for training purposes. So the next time you ask for a recommendation for an Amazon Q Developer, or perhaps even code generation, this is going to be provided based on the training code. This is interesting for a lot of situations. For example, let's say you want to start contributing to an open source project and you have to adhere to the implementation guidelines. So instead of spending weeks and perhaps months studying the code base, you can use that code base sent to Amazon Q Developer, who is going to train for a couple of hours, and then you can start asking questions about how to do things, giving the specific code implementation practice of that uh, sample code. The other situation could be you are the new developer of a team from a company that uses proprietary APIs, and obviously those proprietary APIs are not available elsewhere, and Amazon Q Developer would never know uh, how to handle them. So what you can do is ask your team leader to send a specific sample code to Amazon Q Developer, who is going to learn all the gimmicks and the implementation style from those APIs. And then the next time you ask for a recommendation about how to complete the task, guess what? Your recommendation is going to be custom tailored specifically for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up from scratch the Amazon Q Developer customization feature and also how you can use that customization specific in your IDE to ask for code recommendations. So without further ado, let's get to it. Your first step should be preparing your code samples for training purposes. And you can accomplish this in two ways. The first one is having Amazon Q developer to pull the code directly from your repository, such as GitHub, or you can upload those code samples to Amazon S3, which is going to be the strategy I'm going to use here now. So as you can see here, I have this bucket called Spring Pet Cleaning Code. And then inside that folder, I've created a subfolder called Code Content, where I've uploaded all my code samples that I want to use for training purposes. So in this, in this scenario, I'm using the famous Spring Pet Clinic uh, sample. But as you can see here, I've provided different variations of the same sample. So the first one is using Angular as the front end framework, same back end, but a different uh, front end, and then the same back end, but using React DS as front end. And also a uh, complete 100% uh, sample of the same code using REST APIs for communicating across the layer. So this is important for uh, Amazon Q developer to understand in a more specific uh, manner how you are going to leverage your code in style and how you can reuse it across multiple scenarios. When you start asking questions and you're creating your prompt about how the code should be generated or even code suggestions, this is going to be extremely important about how Amazon Q developer is going to, oh, okay, I'm going to match your intentions to what I have learned. Once you have uploaded all your code samples, you can go to Amazon Q developer and then start creating your customization. So how you can do this, you're going to use this menu here and then the customization feature, which is currently in preview, but 
probably by the time you were watching this video, it's going to be generally available for you to use. But the workflow is going to be virtually the same. So you're going to use this button here, create customization, and then you are going to name your customization. In this case, I'm going to call Spring Pet Clinic to remind me that all this training purpose is based on the famous Spring Pet Clinic uh, code samples. And then you can use different connection providers. In this case, Code Start, we can connect to different repositories such as GitHub, or you can select Amazon S3, which is going to be the case for this demo. So, and here you have to provide the S, the URI of your S3 buckets, to which you can click here, browse S3, and then you can simply select the URI that you are, you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to use this URI over here from the code content. I'm going to click Cop S3 URI, and then going back to Entry S3 URI, I'm going to simply pass here the content. Once you have done this, you can simply go scroll down and click on create customization. Before I do this, just a heads up that you can also uh, use this feature called log deliveries, which is a way for you to kind of follow up and perhaps troubleshoot the whole training purposes because as Amazon Q Developer is trained, it's going to flush events to whatever you set here. So in this case, I'm going to set for cloud what logs so we can actually uh, perhaps go there if something went, goes wrong and then follow up about uh, what was the flow of the training purposes. Once you have done this, you can simply create customization. So how this works, the, the training process, it's something that is going to leverage machine learning APIs and all the fancy generative AI technologies that Amazon uh, is backed on the behind Amazon Q Developer. And then this is going to take a little bit of time. So this is not something that we're talking about like a couple minutes or perhaps 10 minutes. And my test is here, it usually takes from four or five minutes to one hour and a half. So what's going to happen now is that I am going to fast forward to the point where this process has finished. So see you and in a minute. All right, so our customization has been properly created and then we can go ahead and do the review of the score. So what is the score? It's a numeric value that Amazon Q Developer gives you to quantify how good or how bad your code samples are. So in order to review this, you are going to click here on this I button and then you are going to use the scoring model number. So one to three, it means that you've provided a poor set of code samples. 4 to 7 is fair. It means that you can go ahead and activate, and chances are that you are going to receive some good recommendations uh, from that. And 8 to 10 is very good. It means that there's no doubt that whatever recommendations are provided are going to provide some benefit for you. So in this case, we've ended up with the evaluation score of 5, which is in the range of fair. So we can actually go ahead and use this revision. So to activate this revision, just scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you are going to select the version that you are uh, going to use. This is important because once given customization can have multiple versions. And this is important because even after you reactivate, you might decide to provide more code samples for the same customization. So you're going to end up with multiple revisions. So I'm going to select this version and click on activate. Now that your customization has been activated, it is ready to be used. However, there's one thing that I would like you to keep in mind before trying to use that customization. If you jump to your IDE right now, and if you go to the select any custom customization, you are going to see this message. You don't have access to any Amazon Q customization. And the only one available to you is going to be the Amazon Q Foundation, which is the default one that comes out of the box with Amazon Q Developer. So why this happens? Because the customization has to be associated with users and or groups so it becomes available to them. So what's going to happen now is that you need to go back to your customization and then scroll down here to the bottom of the page and go to this tab users and groups. So you're going to click on here and then either you are going to select in specific individuals from your organization or you can select specific groups that comprises one or multiple users. So in my case here, I'm going to select a group that I call standard developer. And this group is associated with multiple uh, developers in my organization. And I'm going to add this group to my customization. So what's going to happen right now is that any user that belongs to that organization is going to be able to not only see, but to leverage 
that customization and any information that pertain uh, from, from the code samples that was used for training purposes. If you are wondering where those users and or groups are coming from, they are coming from the identity center that is associated with your Amazon Q Developer Professional subscription. So if you have never done this before and you want to learn how to set up this, you can follow up this blog post that I've wrote that teaches you how to set up your own AWS organization, the identity center, and how to activate the pro subscription of Amazon Q Developer. In this tutorial, I show you everything about since the creation of the organization, how to actually set the right permissions, the IAM roles for your AWS users so everything works flawlessly. The link is on the description below. Now that the customization has been associated with the proper group, I'm going to try one more time to select the customization for my ID. So I'm going to click Amazon Q Developer and then select customization. So right now you can see that the Spring Pet Clinic customization is available to me. Remember that this is only available because the user I am connected in the IDE belongs to that group called Standard Developer that I've associated with the customization. So I'm going to select this customization and from this point on, all the recommendations and code generations that Amazon Q Developer is going to give me is going to be based on the learnings for the code samples that was used for training purposes. Let's now test if Amazon Q Developer is going to be able to provide me with the recommendation I am expecting since I am using the customization created. So I am going to repeat the same prompt that I've used before to create me a new entity class and a repository implementation using Bazit on JPA. So I'm going to hit enter and let's see how that goes. So let's review the code provided here as a suggestion. I'm going to go back real quick and then let's start by reviewing the entity implementation. So the first thing I've noticed is that now it is extending base entity. Uh, this was part of the feedback provided on the PR, so it's good. Uh, it seems to be following the expected best practices and also it's using log4j as the implementation framework so it's no longer using java login which was uh, also something that i did wrong when i submitted the pr uh, originally and for the repository implementation it seems also to be using the right interface so overall i think it worked because it seems to be using everything that was provided in the code samples as a reference about how the code should look like. So this is the proof that when you're using Amazon Q Developer, the customization feature is going to allow you to create more specific and unique recommendations for you to use and leverage in your code. So how did you like the new exciting Amazon Q Developer customization feature? Pretty awesome, right? It is almost as if it was magic because when you ask for code recommendations or code generation, Amazon Q Developer is able to provide exactly what you need. But guess what? There's no magic. All you got to do is to provide a set of code samples for training purposes. And from that point on, Amazon Q Developer is able to not only learn what you need, but also to put in a context. Given your prompts, is going to be able to provide you with the right recommendations. I highly encourage you to start developing with Amazon Q Developer customization feature. There have been never a better time to be a builder. You still here? It's over. Go build something. Go.